Hey, what up, what up, what is up, everybody? And welcome back to the Carnivore Returns YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming, really appreciate it. And uh, welcome back to the How To Objects in Space tutorial series. I'm having a ton of fun putting these together. I hope you guys are learning a lot about this game. They really don't tell you anything about this game. Uh, most of what I'm sharing with you guys, I just learned by playing. I know I've mentioned that in the other video, but I think it bears repeating. Um, so, welcome to the episode on piracy and hacking and grabbing loot and all that good kind of stuff. Um, now, in the game, if you so decide that you have it in your heart to want to start going around and basically robbing other ships of their cargo and other stuff like that, then golly darn it go ahead it's up to you you can completely do that and i'm hoping to kind of tell you guys how to do it in today's video now i i've got a little scenario set up and i'm i'm in a um i'm in kind of an outer system and i think this is a really good time to do it right because you can have your iff inactive everyone's got their iff inactive nobody really knows you can sneak up on vessels and uh, right now i have acquired actually in the game a leander class freight vessel that i'm kind of sneaking up on now i will say i'm going to uh get in a little better position here while i talk um just because i am sneaking up right behind him and i'm a really good spot and i want to get right in behind him so I can scan. You can see he just disappeared from my scopes. I should be able to get him back on scope in about two seconds here once I'm out of these little things. But I wanted to talk about a few things. First off, what you will need to do some piracy and some stuff like that. Now, to go do bounties, you only need torpedoes. You need torpedoes so you can shoot torpedoes at people, hit them with the explosions, and bam, you'll complete your bounty. Even if you don't just completely destroy the vessel, sometimes it'll complete the bounty, right? Uh, but for this, you will need something. You will need a hacking computer. Uh, I used to have four batteries. I sold one of my batteries, got a better one in one of my slots, and then bought this hacking computer. It's about 5,000 uh, credits, so it's not cheap. Definitely not cheap, but you'll need it. The second thing you'll need if you want to get anything out of it is you'll need a grappling arm. Because once we hack these guys, we see what kind of cargo they're carrying, that we can threaten them, and sometimes they'll drop their stuff, sometimes they won't, sometimes we'll have to blow them up, um, and then we'll take their stuff after we've blown them up. But either way, you'll need a grappling hook to get whatever loot they have in the cargo pods. You basically moor your vessel to those cargo pods, and you can transfer things between them, right? The whole idea here is to get them to drop their stuff so you can rob them and then go sell it at a different port for money, right? That's the basic idea behind piracy. We want to take their 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 booty, you know, their, their, their stuff. Um, now, it looks like we've encountered another, um, we will have to go through, and this is the, probably the reason why we lost his signal. Now, this looks like it's just a dark nebula, so I'm going to go ahead and go through it. I don't think that should be a, I don't think that should be a problem. I mean, it, we might all of a sudden hit diachromatic. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if we took a little bit of damage throughout that, but hopefully we don't even have to make that kind of a choice. Uh, but you can see it's a pretty thick nebula as I'm going through it really thick nebula and you can see um i lost his signal because that was truly between it uh, i looks like i my systems has reacquired him he is let's let's go ahead and slow down here just so just so we can now we got to get a little bit closer before we can actually hack him and you'll see right here on my navigation computer there's a little option for hack now if we get in behind him close enough and we have a good enough solution we should be able to just go ahead and hit this button and hack and then we can check his cargo in our computer logs right that's the general idea now i'm gonna have to get out of this crap like i said you know we're in pretty dark nebula he he's he might be on to us a little bit he might kind of know what's going on here uh we might we're gonna we're not gonna go too crazy fast here he might have eyes on us, he might not, depending on what kind of scanners he has. Now, I have some pretty good scanners on my ship. But he is moving this way, and we should be able to get a nice little hack on him. You know what, just in case he does anything stupid, I do have a, um, do have a torpedo lined up, so I can choose to destroy him, right, and take his, his loot that way. Um, but really the idea is I don't want to waste a torpedo if he doesn't have anything good, right? I want to know what kind of goods he's got in that ship of his before I decide to loot him or hail him and tell him to drop his loot. You know, whatever it may be, the idea here is knowing is better. We want to know. 
We want to know what's going on in that ship of his. He is a Leander class freight vessel. Uh, we are in a diachromatic nebula, which is not wonderful. Uh, but it looks like we are about to come out of it. Hopefully we don't take too much damage. Uh, man. We might have to, though, go for a very risky little proposition here. Uh, just to catch up with him in a timely manner. Let's go ahead. Right through another nebula, which is really not ideal. I, I do not, as you can tell from this, I do not have uh, the grid here. I do not have most of this system. Uh, Mac. There is another ship. Uh, this might be actually another ship that I have a bounty for, actually. I've taken care of a couple bounties. I actually have three bounties in this in this area that are available to me. Um, so I forget if we have to have a 100% solution or it's simply a distance thing here. But once we get into a certain range, we should be able to just go ahead and hit our, our hack button. I don't want to necessarily set my weapons on him quite yet. I'd much rather hack his vessel. Excellent. He is really skirting. We are in a diachromatic nebula, but I can't see that we've taken any stuff yet. This is a walnut class vessel. This is, yep, there's, there's some damage. Took some pretty critical damage right there to our wing, which is really not ideal, guys. Really not ideal. In fact, to the point where I'm going to really want to be very careful here as we come out of this thing. But we do want to keep eyes on this guy. And we'll go ahead and engage this autopilot. Because I would really like to get a hack on him. Right now, I'm having trouble getting in a right good position here. Let's go ahead and cancel our autopilot because we're headed in a very nice direction. Hopefully, we'll be able to split this right down the pipes here. So we don't encounter too much damage. He's definitely running from us. I feel like he's running from us. Which probably makes sense. I mean, he's checked his baffles a few times. I have no idea. He's really taking us on a dangerous path. Through this nebula. He really doesn't want us to hack him. But we really want to hack him. Unknown Leander class freight. It's ready to launch. I just forget if my hacking system actually has a, a minimum range. That's really what I'm forgetting here. Uh, set distance target. We're not. We have a hundred percent solution on him. What's the deal? Leander class freight vessel. It's possible we just haven't hacked him enough. What's this? Probably that walnut. Or this is the walnut running away. That's the walnut running away. That's fine. We're still just very interested in this guy. Now I'm wondering if my hack systems just aren't working right now because of where we're in. It looks like our, our hack system should be working. It's all connected. It's all running. We got some kind of a message. We're very close to him. We should be able to hack him. Let's see if we got any mail. No. We have a... It, usually when we hack... So we did hail this guy. Let's see if he, let's see, he probably didn't mail us. No. I didn't think he would. Why aren't we getting the ability to hack this guy? It really makes me sad. SL826. He is a freight vessel, yes. Which means it should be pretty easy for us to hack him. Hmm. There we are. We're very, very close to him. We can now hack him. So, boom. We just hacked him. I believe it is a distance thing. It must be a distance thing. 
So now we're going to go back, we're going to download from our computer, and we're going to be able to see um, in our system here, by hitting mail, we got our hack report. So in our hack report, we can literally see what he's got, right? He's a pirate, his name pirate. He's a Leander class freight vessel. He's got all this stuff. And what kind of cargo are you carrying? It didn't give us any cargo. I don't think he's carrying anything, guys. Hack him again. Mm, maybe we can't. It looks like we should be able to. Security attack uh, begun. We getting anything more? Maybe it was still going here. I don't know, guys. I don't think we're going to get a... It said none filed, none filed. Cargo nil. It does. It has no cargo. Its flight plan said no cargo, and it doesn't have any cargo. So sadly, guys, doing anything here. He does have a weapon system, I think. It just said he has a weapon system. So it's actually maybe a little more dangerous than we originally anticipated. Well, that's a bummer. I was hoping to show you guys in this video that he's got cargo. And in that case, if he did, we could either tell him to uh, drop it, essentially. this is a station here it says there's a station here yeah it's goods contracts interesting haven't discovered it if there is well i'm gonna go ahead and come to a full stop because i'm definitely entering a uh, asteroid field but i am very disappointed i was very hoping that there would be some good loot on there and there's not very sad All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, in the first part of the video, I showed you guys kind of how to pirate, how to hack a little bit. Uh, but sadly, the guy that we were hacking had no cargo. So what we want to do is I want to show you guys what happens when we actually hack somebody with cargo. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off our IFF. And we are going to attempt to hack this guy's system soon here. We're going to wait. We're going to keep our IFF on here for a second. Of course, and we're going to go ahead and try to hack and hail this sea wolf, and we're going to try to get him to drop his cargo, right? Part of pirating, hopefully, you know, under the right circumstances, um, you can actually get these guys to drop their cargo. I'm going to, oops, sorry, I'm burning, burning, burning. Uh, I'm going to try to get up ahead of this guy a little bit. I'm hoping to anticipate his movements. If he's headed north right here, we should be able to close the distance a little bit uh, between us and him, and that should allow us to get our hack on. We'll go ahead and turn our IFF off. We'll hail him, and we'll see if he uh, is willing to drop his cargo. Now, first, we have to see where he's going. Yes, he is going north. I thought so, which is excellent for us. And keep our eyes on the prize here. We should be able to close our distance pretty significantly, and as soon as that little red hack up here is available to us. We will go ahead and hack his systems, check if he has any cargo. Uh, there are authority vessels in the region, guys, that we're going to need to be very mindful of. Um, but you know what? This is a suicide mission, kind of. Uh, I am going to going to go ahead and spin up our torpedoes. It's basically a suicide mission, though, here, guys, because the authorities are going to get very, very mad with us when we turn our IFF off. They're going to get mad with uh, up at us when we... Um, when we hack people and we, you know, they're just, they're not going to appreciate pretty much anything that we do. Uh, you know what, though? This guy is getting out of our range. What if we just hacked this guy? He's coming down this way. What if we did a full stop? Just waited till this guy came in our range. Let's do that. I like this idea much better. This guy is coming right into our range. So we're just going to let him. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, get a little bit closer. I'm going to use my uh, little jet seas here to uh, bring us the distance in a little bit. Go ahead and get right behind him. 
I'm actually going to go like this. I'm going to turn around. I'm actually going to decrease my speed a little bit. And that'll be just fine, I think. And we're going to go ahead and hack this guy right now. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we, we don't have any juice right now. So let's wait till our juice gets up a little bit. Hack detected by vessel. Attempt canceled. No worries. Let's try again. We should have enough... Excellent. We just hacked him. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually turn off our IFF. We are going to check our manifest. And we're going to tell him to drop his shit or, uh, you know, we're going to shoot him. Here's our hack report. He is. He's carrying machinery. 40 machinery. So let's go ahead and hail him. Who is he? He is the... What the hell is going on? What is he? Is there two ships, like, identical to each other right there? Who did I just hack? The Lie Elizabeth. Okay. So, we're going to go here. We have our IFF off. We're going to hail this guy and tell him to drop his shit. Or we will fire on him. Our IFF is off. Drop your cargo. Please call off your attack. We are complying. Okay. He just dropped his cargo. Excellent. So, guys. We just successfully pirated. I guess you could say. Because it looks like he just dropped his cargo. And there they are. There the cargo pods are, guys. Excellent, excellent work. Time compression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we have communication in progress. Uh, yes, let's just disconnect. We don't, we don't need to ask. We don't want to do that anyway. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to plot. Oopsies, we're a little too close. So we'll wait till we back off a little bit. We're going to go ahead and turn our IFF back on. Just so we don't get in any trouble. Um, you will get in trouble by authorities if you have your IFF off. No worries. Let's go ahead and plot us, ourselves back. Let's go ahead and engage, and we're going to go steal his loot. So, what you guys just saw is, we got in behind him close enough. We ran a hack. Right? Oopsies. There we go. Uh, we can stop that now. Plot. Engage. Um, we ran a hack. We're going to need... Oh, my gosh. Okay. We're going to run out of power, I bet, before we can even get in uh, close enough to do this turn. No, we're good. Uh, but we're going to be running probably almost on empty here. Um, but anyway, we probably could have waited till we had a full solution before we did this, just because it might it get a rid in the river. But we got him, got him close. We ran a hack. We saw what his cargo was. We are now more. We are now moved to the cargo pods. Okay. We 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 used our comms to raise him with our IFF off. That is a key thing here, guys. If you have your IFF on, they'll report you, and they won't drop their cargo. So it's really important to have your IFF off. So we just, and we hailed him. We told him to drop his shit. Otherwise, we'll fire upon him. He dropped his stuff. We uh, use our autopilot to go ahead and click on that and moor up to it. Now, here's the tricky part here. You go here over to your uh, main, um, oh, what's it called? The helm computer. You go here. You tab over to here. Now you guys can see this is his. This is the pod that we are moored up, moored up to. We are cargo pods. This is us. These are all our empty pods. We are going ahead and grab this thing. We're going to go ahead and do a transfer. Uh, can I not transfer these pods? Do I not have the right things? Standard. It seems pretty standard. Oh, uh, why can I not transfer? I have a grabbing arm. You need a grabbing arm. You know what? We might not be uh, properly moored. Well, it seems like we are. Why can we not transfer? I just transferred an empty pod. Here we go. Uh, for some reason, <laughs> until I transferred out of a uh, no cargo pod. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, okay, yes. I see what was actually going on. Because they dropped their actual full cargo pod, and we didn't blow them up and expose the actual debris and stuff into space, the pod is actually what we moored to. And so we need an actual straight-up empty pod to go ahead and transfer that. So now we're actually going to grab, use our little space arm to grab um, their, their cargo. 
Um, so that is that is what we did. And then just like that, guys, we now have that cargo pod. We have that machinery. We can go to a local system and sell it. And that's exactly what we're going to do because we are at, we are pirates, and this is exactly what we do. So we just had more to the, for the cargo pods. Yeah, yeah, where are those, where are those torpedoes you guys are? Ooh, somebody's in a, a nice uh, fight with the authorities. We were lucky. We actually didn't get detected by the authorities right there. We stole somebody's stuff. So if you guys remember from the last video, we were going around, we did some scanning, we did some hacking, we kind of saw we didn't have any cargo, um, and so we didn't actually end up getting, I didn't get, end up getting to show you guys in that first mission, that first piracy part of this video, exactly what you means to, you know, hail these guys and see what they, and you know, see what they have, go ahead and hack them, threaten them, uh, get them to drop their stuff, and then get them there. So there those cargo pods are, now it's just an empty pod in the middle of space. We have a full pod full of, um machinery and that ladies and gentlemen is how you make uh money doing piracy because now I, as soon as i dock with this i'll be able to sell those, those machine goods actually for pretty decent money i uh, probably even more if i went out to an outer system where they don't have as much uh good machine goods but essentially that's kind of the uh, second part of our piracy video guys um so just remember a few different things you need an arm i, I believe i mentioned this in the first part of this video but you need a grappling arm you're probably going to want to jump drive just in case you want to go into any, uh, you know, more remote systems where other people might be going around. Not as much authority, right? That's very important. Not as much authorities, all that kind of good stuff. So now that we have gone ahead and docked with this system, we're going to go ahead and go here. And to complete yours, I always like to pay my fees first. You guys know that if you've been watching any of the videos. Uh, and go right here. And guess, guess what? There is our beautiful cargo pod. Price here is below market average. Sale is not recommended. So they're not recommending I sell it here, right? Because it looks like I'm only going to get, yeah, 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 I'm not going to get, I'm only going to get 710C. And they're basically saying if you went somewhere else, you'd get more. So not bad for, for all in a day's work. And we have more cargo pods than that. We could have probably gone out and pirated for a while and then come, you know, do a different system. But And this is going to help you, uh, you know, know where to sell it. But I'm going to just go ahead and sell it for the sake of this video. Made a little bit of ducats. And there we go, guys. There is Pirating 101. Now, we'll say, because... Because, of the, because you have to drop your cargo pods, you guys can see all my pods right here. These are the radiation shield. This is a temperature shielded pod. Uh, I do recommend just having like a normal ass pod, right? Have a normal ass pod because if you have to jettison it, you don't usually want to jettison one of your um, your nicer ones that cost you all that money to upgrade. Now, sometimes you will just find ones and, uh, and you know, the goods that they might be carrying may are, be in a radiation shielded pod and then you don't care, right? So they go ahead and jettison your, theirs, you jettison yours and you don't have to worry about upgrading your pod because you have a radiation shield that may be a temperature shielded pod but just for that sake i do recommend just you know having normal pods i have not nearly recommended because i've mostly been doing pirating in this in this playthrough so uh i do, thank you guys so much for coming out to the tutorial series i hope you guys got a good idea from this from the piracy i tried to cover everything i can I, this one's kind of piecemeal together kind of in a part one uh part two fashion but i think it's going to work well in telling you guys all there is you know to, to how to pirate people how to you know hail them how to threaten them gotta have your weapons ready all that good stuff and then go from there but I think this is uh, going to bring the end of this uh, tutorial series, guys. Thank you so much for coming out. I really, really appreciate it. Be sure, if you if, if, if you if this is the first one you're watching, be sure to check out all the other ones. This game is awesome, but they don't really tell you much about how to play it. So definitely check out my other uh, parts of my tutorial series. Um, if you guys are looking to uh, learn a little bit more about the game or check out my Let's Play if you want to watch me kind of do it in a real-world scenario, quote-unquote, start the story uh, and go through some of the story missions. But, hey, thanks so much for coming out, guys. Really appreciate it. If you guys are enjoying the content, a like, a subscribe, a, um, a comment in the section below uh, really helps me out. It helps me know that I'm on the right track. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.